Hello and welcome to HammerTech. Today I'm going to show you how to install Tomb encrypt or to the program Tomb Encryption, show you how to install it and use it. So let's get started, shall we? Uh, when I first did this, I wanted to make sure it worked. So the only bad thing is, is I can't truly show you how to install the packages and even install Tomb, but it's very straightforward. So for example, I'm going to tell or tell you what you do is for example I'm using Ubuntu 14.04 here and what you do is sudo app get install all these uh, because tomb requires these uh, I don't know that's just how tomb has been programmed uh, then once you install all these and get it off uh, hunky dory uh, then you want to do is you want to change or go to their website next uh, I'll just scroll up here for you at dyni.org dash software uh, tomb and what you want to do is you want to scroll down even if for example uh, you wanted some quick no or uh, quick instructions or even here to how to use it but for some people video is much easier to understand everything so we'll go down here what you want to do is you want to download the source when you download it what you want to do is you want to extract it uh, or decompress is what they call it. I, I know if they're both the same or they're probably different, but still. What you want to do is you want to decompress it. And when you decompress it, it will turn into a folder and you want to change to that folder. It'll change. You have to do the CD tomb and then sudo make install. This, at least with my computer, it was instantaneously. So once you do that, We'll go and pop over to the, once you do that you have successfully installed it now one thing i forgot to do when i was doing all this is uh you can actually see all the uh all the instructions if by chance you have an issue so you do man tomb and here is everything you can possibly do with this dig dig uh this is pretty much it'll tell you I don't even have to explain it just tells you right here in the list but I'm just gonna show you how to make uh, a little fire or uh, make your own partition or little mount drive or whatever you want to call it to secretly hide all your secret stash so what we'll do is we'll start off uh, making it so what we do is tomb dig dash s is the size 10 for this demonstration, it's going to be 10. It's going to turn in 10 megabytes. So secret.tomb. And if I did it like this line right now, it would come back and give me uh, operation aborted because for one thing, with Linux, you everyone who understands Linux knows that there's a swap partition. And the swap partition has to be off in order to do this so that way if by example if your swap is going and it's got information on it it could make a problem but for this demonstration I don't really care so what we're gonna do is dash F which is the force it which as you can see it says force flag right there so once we do that it creates and generates it next what we want to do is well for me I've already done it you want to make a key so when you want to make a key you'll do tomb forge secret key that'll make the key depending on how powerful your computer is uh, it could take up to five or ten minutes uh, or it could take 30 minutes depending on how powerful your computer is so what we'll do is we'll go to the next one since I've made the key so we're gonna to do tomb lock secret dot tomb dash key or K stands for key secret dash or dot tomb dot key once I do that it'll prompt me for my password when you make your key it will ask you for a password all you have to do is retype in what you've uh, made it for a password as you can see now it's formatting it all that good stuff and it comes back to you it's it's uh, it's ready so now you can't see it if you went everywhere and tried looking for it on your computer, you would not find this. Well, let me take that back. You could find it to a degree. Uh, for example, you go to home. Oh, uh, 
Uh, I think I went a little too far back here. Okay, so it's so it's not actually there when you first do it. There will be uh, it will be there uh, in oops. Actually, I was showing you the wrong spot. <laughs> it will show up in Dash Media because that's where everything boots. Sorry about all that. That was uh, me getting ahead of myself. So next, I'll show you how to open it. So Tomb Open Secret Dot Tomb, and then you want to use your key Secret Dot Tomb Dash Key, and of course you want to use the Force command if you still have your swap on. For this demonstration, like I've said, my swap is still on. Whoopsie. Oh, I see. My fault. Typing is important. And then you just put in your secret password. And as you can see, it's booted or uh, it's open for you. It's unencrypted and I can make no file. So since I can't make a file, this is perfect. Uh, before, when I did the install, I could be, I could actually see it and do everything to it. But since I can't do anything, like for example, I just opened it in front of you. Uh, whoops. Just eject that and go to secret. As you can see, I can't make anything. So technically, I'm root, or it doesn't see me as someone who can use it. So in order to change that little, uh, issue so you do change owner to me which is my name and then you want to do dash media at secret dot tomb it should give you no error message no news is good news so now when i go and browse back at it i should have issue i should have the uh ability to make a folder do whatever do whatever i want to it so all good and hunky dory and so now since let's say you've put in your secret stash and now you want to basically make it to where it's never even, you know, it isn't mounted or anything to where someone would never see it. So what you would do is tomb close. This will eject every single uh, tomb you have open. Now see, it's gone. Best part is it gives you a little thing, your bones will rest in peace. I like that little touch. So I'll just clear it here. Now the next thing you can do when you've looked, when you want to get more uh, in the more of a business area to where you want to make things secret, there is a command or there's a command which is called command bury. Uh, this can bury your secret key into pictures. That makes it handy to where no one can actually see it. The only bad thing for me is it wouldn't work for me. Uh, I probably just need to look a bit more into it, but it is possible. And I just wanted to clarify that with everyone who is watching. Whoopsies. So the next, the reason I showed, I uh, wanted to do this is I was shown to it uh, through another source and I thought it was a good tool considering when you involve TrueCrypt being disc basically it's discontinued it's not truly discontinued it's just that there's they've stopped giving you the ability to use it because uh, from what I've heard uh, what happens is is that they won't let you encrypt but you can uncrypt things and then there's some other issues with it, and it seems like they've just given up on it because of XP dying. Uh, so for anyone who is looking for an alternative uh, for an encryption uh, to make your drives encrypted, this is a good alternative, especially since uh, it's just for Linux uh, that I know of. I could be wrong, but I just wanted to give you all a all a shout out and tell you this is actually a good alternative so please uh like comment subscribe all that good stuff in the doobly-doo and i will see you all laters